Capricorn. Hi, Capricorn. It's me, G1 Writer, here with G1 Insights. And today I am providing you with your career, life, and overall love focus for the month of October 2018. It is officially harvest season, dear love. And I'm super excited for you, Capricorn. I believe that you have come a long way. I'm super excited to see what the universe has is blessing you with, really. Um, I do know that earth signs in general are going to be having an interesting season, okay? A very busy one, but a very good season, all right? So, Capricorn, please subscribe. Thank you for checking out my website as well at g1insights.org if you would like a personal reading, okay? So, let's get into it, Capricorn. It seems like love is very interesting. It's almost like a message to not give up. Not to give up so easily, okay? Worth waiting for. It is safe for you to love. You have past life relationship here. So you definitely have known this person before. Whether you are single or are coupled up, you have definitely known this person before. This person comes from a past life relationship, okay? And I'm pointing this out first for a reason because I feel like your overall energy is very interesting to me. You guys got abundance, but you guys got it in reverse. And it's probably just because maybe in the past you guys didn't feel like you were being appreciated or loved for all of your hard work. And I feel like this is all coming to an end, okay? So whenever this comes in reverse, it could definitely be like you feel like something is far away. Um, you may feel like money is not like your best friend. You may have felt like you're not getting what you deserve. So it may even feel like this is like an ongoing state of affairs where you are constantly trying, constantly working, trying to prove yourself and feeling like you are not receiving the reward that you deserve. But Capricorn, you need to look, have a deeper look. The universe wants you to look closer. They want you to observe. Okay, because I feel like this stems from some type of insecurity of not being appreciated, okay? And it's interesting even more because Taurus had a similar energy, but they didn't have this particular card. But they had a very similar energy about gratitude, about recognizing what you have in front of you, being grateful. They had a lot of similar energy when it came to this. So if you have Taurus somewhere in your birth chart, please review their video as well, okay? This is about you being very conscious and responsible when money issues are concerned. So I'm not surprised that you have gotten this though, Capricorn, because... We have Venus going retrograde, and Venus is normally a planet of beauty, harmony, wealth, sex, everything beautiful in between, okay? And Venus is going retrograde in Scorpio, and this season, Scorpio is actually sextiling you, so for you to get something like this, this is definitely about you appreciating the value of a dollar, okay? Appreciating the value of your investments. This is about you budgeting properly, 
making sure that your bills are covered, making sure that you have a little money left over to do what you like to do, making sure that you pay your credit bills on time. You may suddenly find by the third week of October that you are being rewarded with something, okay? And so you are being rewarded for all of this hard work. So even if you felt like it was slipping away, even if you felt like no one noticed, if you felt like you were waiting on something and it just wasn't happening fast enough, or if you felt like every time you get money, it's like right back out your hands, you know, the universe is saying that they are willing to give it right back to you. That you don't have to continue to go through this, Capricorn. Take action, okay? This is a season where you want to, you know, it's harvest season. You want to plant as many new seeds as possible. Nurture your financial garden, dear love. Take a good look at this card. The universe wants you to re-examine your value on money, Okay, so when it comes to your career choices, when it comes to your finances and how you are spending money, you know, we know that you love money, Capricorn. We know that you appreciate stability. But what is going on that have you feeling like you never have enough? It is time to reexamine your needs, your stability, your values, what is required to keep you happy, Capricorn. I know that it's stability. Okay, but what else is going on? Think about it. You have to have patience with everything that is happening, Capricorn. So it's not that you are not receiving what you need. It's just that you want it when you want it, and you're so bossy and demanding that you get upset when it's not happening sometimes just like that. But Capricorn, I seem like I always have to remind you, dear love, you are the master of manifestation. I tell you this every single month. <laughs> you are the master of manifestation. You are the best manifester out of the whole exact zodiac chart, okay? And other signs might be like, well, what about me? But the reality is, if you have Capricorn in your birth chart, you shouldn't even be mad at this video. Capricorn is the master of manifestation, Ask them how they get what they get. Trust me, they will be more than happy to tell you how. Capricorn know how to get what they want because they cannot stand the idea of struggling. They cannot stand the idea of being broke, being upset, crying, <laughs> being depressed, being too emotional. Like, they not with all that shit. So they will highly and most certainly get their shit together and manifest like crazy. Like, they get it. And so, if you are a Capricorn or if you have Capricorn in your birth chart, this is going to be a good season of harvest for you, okay? Plant some new seeds. No more crying, Capricorn, about spilled milk. You know, you are being blessed with abundant wealth, my love, all around you. And so, even if you may not feel like it is coming in, or even if it is coming in, you may have money flowing from different resources. Money may be coming at you, but it seems like every time you get the money, it's gone, right? And so, this is a time where you have to put a stop to that. No, no, no. I'm going to start investing in, you know, my business, or I'm going to start in putting more money into the savings account. I'm going to start working on my credit. Whatever it is, Capricorn, you have to be willing and ready. You know, I talked to you guys a few seasons ago, I think back in August, if I'm not mistaken, about, you know, you guys climbing the mountain, stopping. You climb and then you stop. And some of you are still doing that. You're like, okay, I'm motivated. I don't want to do it today. And the whole idea of success, Capricorn, and I know you know this too, is that you have to keep striving. And we know that we can't keep complaining because we will never get anywhere. So you have to keep going. You have to keep climbing and working towards it, my love. Okay? That is what that overall energy is about. And so you, Capricorn, out of all people, know how to manifest what you deserve. You know how to manifest money. You know how to bring good love into your life. So why, you know, I'm looking here even at your fourth chakra that came out. Dear love, this is your heart chakra. So, you know, even for you, Capricorn, love is still on your brain as well. But I feel like a lot of you, 
It's like a lot of you want to focus on love, but I feel like you are being blessed with an opportunity to be able to spread yourself, to share a little bit of love every now and then, okay? But do not spread yourself too thin, okay? Whenever your heart chakra comes out, dear love, this is the overall impression of love. And this is really asking you not to fall victim to the circumstance, okay? Turn around and start to remind yourself of the beauty within. Remind yourself of the beauty all around you. That if your heart is not in it, Capricorn, what is the point? I hear a lot of you saying this to yourself. Yeah, I do this job because I need money. I go to school every day because I need an education, or if I don't have that education, I can't get that career that I want. But if your heart is not in it, what is the point? And so you have to ask yourself that, Capricorn. And it's going to be a very tough freaking question because you don't really give a damn if your heart is in it or not. A lot of you just want the damn money. You just want to get it over with and be successful and do the things that you want to do. You want to travel. You want to be stable. You ain't got time for fucking passion. <laughs> so, Capricorn, but the truth is you're going to have to make time for your passion. Because this is the thing. You are hard workers. We know that. You are the master of manifestation. We know that as well. But do you know that, Capricorn? Do you believe that about yourself? Do you believe that you are a good, strong worker? You have a very strong work ethic. That's the word I was looking for. And you are so hard on yourself. But the reality is you have to take a break sometimes, Capricorn. Even in the month of September, I talked to you guys about that as well. Like, you guys need to learn to take a break. If you're going to take a break, you know, focus on the things that you love. Because if you're not focusing on things that you love, like family, friendships, you know, any type of passion that you have, if you don't take time to bring yourself down to earth and to focus your energy on something that pleases you, you will be stressed out. You will be upset. If your heart is not in it, what is the point, Capricorn? What is the point? Why are you wasting thousands and thousands of dollars going to this school if this is not what you really want to do? What is it that you really love, Capricorn? It's time for you to refocus your energy. So when I'm talking about refocusing your energy, you know, this can also indicate that you may also need to take some time out to heal, Capricorn. Heal some old wounds. Because like I said, even in love, you know, the universe just wants to remind you, dear love, that it is safe for you to love. Open your heart, dear love. That is why you got the heart chakra. Open your heart, dear love, to give and receive the highest energy of all. You have to open your heart, dear love. Don't be so stubborn all the time. It gets you absolutely nowhere. Stop being so stubborn. You may need to take some time to heal from a previous broken heart that has taken place. If you are still thinking about the past or if this person is from the past and you just can't seem to shake this person or if you just can't seem to get over this individual and they just constantly on your mind, it's okay to reach out to them and say, listen, I just thought of you today. I just wanted to say hello. It's okay to do that. So you are dealing with a lot of tender vibrations, okay? So it's interesting to me, though, because Archangel Raphael came out in another deck, I believe, for Taurus. I believe that's who it was. Was it Taurus? I think it was Taurus. They, you know, the heart chakra is very, very real, man. Like, it's so tense and... A lot of times when our heart chakra is not activated, we are angry, sometimes even depressed. Sometimes we're frustrated with ourselves and even others. 
But you are dealing with a lot of different vibrations, my love. And Archangel Raphael is here to remind you or to even encourage, to just basically encourage yourself with a compassionate self-talk. Encourage yourself, Capricorn. Like I said, you may feel like it's not working out. You may feel like, you know, like I said, it seems like every time you try to move forward, you got to take two steps backwards. Every time you're trying to go up, you got to come two steps down. And so that is why you always playing this roller coaster game where it's like up, down, up, down, over, over. Like, it's always like that with you, Capricorn. And a lot of it is because you're constantly in the middle of two different worlds. You're trying to choose between success, doing what everybody else wants me to do, or doing what I love to do, and which can kind of cause a lot of disruption. So what do you do? Do you follow your heart? Absolutely. That is why Archangel Raphael came to you today. Encourage yourself. With the compassionate self-talk that you desire to hear from others. So this is no longer you seeking approval from others. This is no longer you begging someone to care or begging someone to love you, begging someone to hold you. This is you just knowing your worth. This is you knowing what you are capable of. This is you telling yourself you a bad bam and jamma, okay? Oh, well, if I said it wrong, sorry. <laughs> I make myself laugh, okay? So, you have to encourage yourself, Capricorn. Know that as you do, the light from your heart center will shine, dear love, with an irresistible beauty. And the universe will send people in situations that cause your sense of love and support to grow and grow and grow and grow, okay? You are not one to just get all emotional and get depressed and just give up. But something has clearly triggered this emotion. Something triggered this. And I, I got the feeling that it's because you just want to do what you love. And it's like you can't because of all these obligations. I got to study. I got to be daddy. I got to be mom. I got to be the oldest sister. I got to be the grandma. You know, I got to run my business. <laughs> it's like when? Oh, can I just have a day where it's just all about me? Where I could just pamper myself. Where I could just do my nails and my hair and just kick back and get crazy twisted off of some good wine. Like, what is it that is blocking your passion, dear love? See, when your heart is not in it, everything else doesn't matter. Like, your overall energy is blocked because you don't care. You're just doing it just for the hell of it. But you're not doing it because you love it. And that is what makes a difference. See, when we do something we love, Oh, it comes out beautiful. You haven't noticed that if you buy food from a particular person, the food can be either nasty or it can be good. No matter what this person is cooking up, right? If their energy was not out of love, and if it was not perfected with love, okay? See, love overrides everything, okay? Even down to good food, okay? So if food was not prepared with love, it's most likely to be served looking a hot mess. The sauce may be falling over the plate. The noodle will be hanging. You know, it might be too salty, may not be salty enough. Like, <laughs> I'm just giving you guys some ideas of what not having love in a situation can look like. Okay? So when love is in it, there is perfection. There is goodness. There is laughter and joy, contentment when your heart is in it. There is no complaining. There is not even a need to complain. You're too busy thinking of how good this fucking chicken tastes, okay? That is what love will do to you. Love will make you forget about everything wrong and focus on the possibility of goodness. That is what love does, okay? Love can help you, you know, it's, it's, you have to feel it. It's, it's an emotion. You have to 
feel the passion. And if you can work day and night, all day long, working hard for that money, and that is why you feel so restless and incomplete and feeling like every time you get something, it's being taken away. And all you want to do is just be blessed. And you can be, and you will be this season, Capricorn. And that is why I love the fact that Venus is going retrograde. I love the fact that Venus is going retrograde in Scorpio because, like I said, Scorpio is sextiling you. So you get a chance to reinvent yourself, make it brand new, step out, show out. By the end of the month, Capricorn, I just want you to kick up your heels. I want you to relax. I want you to go get some wine. I want you to party it up, invite a few friends over, okay? Or even if you don't want to sit in the house, go out, okay? Go out. Go have some fun. Go go visit an old friend, you know? Or just go simply, you know, go dress up. Wear something weird, you know? Even if you don't really care too much for Halloween, get dressed up anyway, Okay, like th- because you need it and you deserve it, Capricorn. You need to get out and have m- some more fun. This is why you are be- why you have been so stressed out. It's too much going on at one time, and you just can't catch a break. Every time you're trying to break, somebody calling your phone, somebody's texting you, somebody's definitely emailing you about something. In in October, you get a fucking break. So finally, guys, you get it. Finally, ugh. Finally, it's like, whoosh. like if I had confetti, I would just throw it. Like, <laughs> so you guys finally get it, okay? The abundance is like, I'm here, surprise, you know? Blessings are pouring from side to side. Unexpected news, good news on the way. So get ready, Capricorn, because, you know, you don't have to be stuck anymore. Something is about to unfold for you. So, I mean, I I look, man, all I want you guys to do is just relax, okay? Now, for some of you, you know, we have the thinking man here, okay? This could be you, maybe you are about to educate someone, or this may be a man coming into your life that can educate you. This could be a father figure, this could be an elderly individual, or could just be an older spouse. Someone who is very, very smart, very detailed, this person might be there to just simply educate you when it comes to your finances or even when it comes to love. You may need some assistance when it comes to your emotional pursuits, okay? Because we know that you're not that emotional, Capricorn, but this month you may have no choice but to get vulnerable. So this person may also be there to assist you if you're having a hard time making a decision. Or they may be there to help you with some type of specific spiritual, mental, or emotional pursuits, okay? But this is definitely telling you to pay attention. But this could definitely lead to some great strides in personal or professional growth. So whether this is a man, whether you're a man or a woman, I feel like a man that is very educated will come to you and want to assist you more than you know. So don't totally block this person out. I feel like they they know what they're doing, Capricorn. And as much as you think you know everything, and we know you know that you're the boss and we the horse, we get it. We know you're the boss, Capricorn. We get it. All right? But this person don't want to be the boss. They just want to help. <laughs> okay, Capricorn, so relax. This can also be, for some of you, this can also be a love interest that may be coming your way. Or it could just be a new friend. Okay? Maybe it could be a new male friend. You know, but definitely look out for this guide in the physical world and be open to this person's information because they are very educated and they know what they are doing, okay? So, yes, yes, yes. I love that. Okay, now, the only thing that I wanted to really, like I said, love is definitely interesting. I mean, it was kind of really straight to the point. You know, try not to give up on this person, dear love, because like I said, this is a past life relationship. So, for some of you that are already coupled up, you and this person just really need to just go kiss and make up in a closet somewhere while the kids is not around, or you guys need to go play hide and seek with each other. I don't know, but you guys need to just make up and shut up and just sit down somewhere, okay? (laughs) And for some of you, somebody might be returning. For some of you that are single, 
See, that's what Venus retrograde does. It brings money back. It might, you know, bring a oh, love interest back. And for you, really, um, I don't think money is really going to be your issue. Even though that has been one of your biggest concerns lately, money is not going to be an issue for you. You see, because you are or you're going to be getting some unexpected good news that you've been waiting for. Something you have been expecting. It's going to be like, ta-da! You know, so expect the good news. Okay, however, <laughs> this is the good part. It's not really finances for you. This is more about how you socialize. Are you being vulnerable enough? Are you opening your heart enough? See, because you even got the encrusted moon. So, honey, listen to me when I tell you. I mean, if you look deeply at this, it, it tells a lot. You know, it's all about emotions and getting into the depth of a situation, okay? And so when I think about the encrusted moon, I think, and then it's an upright position too. This is what I love. It's an upright position. So again, dear love, when it comes to your emotions, you want to watch your tone. You want to watch your overall emotion. You know, don't go into work acting like you're the boss. Don't be talking to your boss like you're the one that's in charge, okay? Learn to laugh it off. If your boss is asking you to do something, just do it with a smile and just keep on going, okay? If you're an entrepreneur and, you have, and you're a manager or you're in a position to fire someone, just wait, Capricorn. <laughs> just wait until after the new moon, okay? You'll have a lot more clarity by then. At least wait until about the third week of October because you'll be feeling a lot better. You won't be so emotional. Okay, but either way, this is a lot of time for increase when it comes to money, abundance, growth, and this could be abundance even in love. This could be abundance in your finances, abundance in harmony in your home. For a lot of you, there will be just some minor disagreements in the home about just little minor situations, but it's not a communication problem. It's more of so of how you deal with the challenges. It's all about your emotions and how you handle these situations. Okay, so it's not really about communication for you, Capricorn. Your efforts have combined with external circumstances and even the stars have in lines for you this season. Okay, so it is definitely working out in your favor. Either way you put it, everything is definitely working out. So no matter what, you get that increase. You get that thank you from the universe, okay? So remember that time when you were feeling really low and depressed and you felt really unappreciated and you felt like no one gave a damn and you felt like no one cared? Yeah, that was bullshit, okay? Because like I said, with the heart chakra here, it's reminding you that love overrides everything. And without love, we are nothing. So don't be afraid to give yourself a chance to blossom in this beautiful world. And don't be afraid to give other people a chance, Capricorn. You know? Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Now, there is some type of opportunity coming here when it comes to increase in fulfillment in every single way. Financially, creatively, and even in your reputation. People are going to want to listen to you more, reach out to you more, asking you for advice, wanting your services, wanting to help you invest in your business, wanting to work side by side by you. I mean, like I said, there's definitely somebody coming, okay? So for a lot of you, I don't know who this is, but it's definitely a man that wants to help you. Whether it's with your passion, whether it's mentally, spiritually, physically, this is a, a man that is well-known, well-respected. People love him, okay? Now, this could be you, Capricorn. If you're the Capricorn man, this could be you taking your place in the world as a man who becomes very well-educated, very smart, very loving and caring. Someone who is devoted, you know, willing to work hard and help someone in need. This could be you, okay? But then, for some of you, that can also be a love interest, like I said, okay? Maybe your spouse will be the one that wants to help you with something. Either way, just do your work and get ready to receive, okay? That, that's really all I'm trying to say, all right? Just do, just do your work. Just do what you got to do. We don't really have time to be crying and wondering why something didn't go right last night or 
How come, how come, how come? We don't have time to worry about that. And the more you worry about it, the more you're going to cry about it. Like I said, guys, you are the master of manifestation. So you know better than anybody that crying about something gets you nowhere. Okay, so look at this. Feeling confused, Ari. Okay, this came out of reverse. You are no longer feeling confused, my love. You may feel like you are very undecided, very hesitant to move in a particular situation. And once again, I feel like that is where this individual will come in at. They will going to want to help you proceed, okay? It's not only a time to look into the dark, but also a time for looking backward, okay? So the path on your left is partially illuminated by the sun, right? Take a look at that. And it calls you to just investigate just a little bit. It leads to a past, a past life relationship. So, like I said, a lot of you, I don't know who this is, but for a lot of you, this is a soulmate or past life relationship. Look at this. Even if I put this card next to this, look at him. He is even looking at them. I'm serious. Look at this, okay? If I put this in reverse, well, that's how it came out. It came out in reverse. Just look at this. All of these cards are talking about a love interest of some kind. And for, I don't know, for each and every one of you, this energy is going to be different. But this is definitely someone, a past life relationship, someone from your past coming in to help you, to assist you. Someone who is smart and full of love. Somebody who is... Who well, somebody just simply that just look up to you. I mean, they really, really look up to you. They love you. They are crazy about you, okay? And the crazy part is I feel like they just never really had the opportunity to really fully express that, and now they want to. And this may, you guys, in fact, may not even know that you are past life lovers. The thing is, I believe they may have a hint that they're from your past life. And maybe they're flirting with you or constantly trying to talk to you, get to know you. And maybe you are just laughing it off because you don't understand their quirkiness or why they're always flirting and talking shit. Like, you just don't get it. Oh, but you will really soon, okay? So, <laughs> moving on. All right, so for some of you, yes, this is a past life situation. Wow, Capricorn. Get in touch with your emotions, dear love. Look at this. It's safe for you to love. Okay, for some of you that are single, do not be afraid of what this new relationship can bring, okay? So, either way, either way, okay, this is definitely you looking backward at some point, okay? But this can also be about reminiscent you know like i said a lot of you are thinking about your passion things that you love so for a lot of you this is also reminiscent about how fun it is to just be yourself a lot of you are reminiscent about or maybe thinking about am i really truly on the right path is this really where i belong because i'm happier when i do this but it seemed like i always have to do that but then it's like the universe wants me to do this. So am I really truly on the right path? A lot of you are having questions. And with the increasing moon, you get to reflect and to go deeper and to ask yourself, what do you really want? So you get the green light, Capricorn. You get the green light. You get to flourish and be content. So if you look into history, and go back to resolve anything that is unbalanced, anything that may have hurt you. What is causing you to feel so disconnected from your passion? What has caused you to feel so disconnected from your spouse? What has caused you to feel disconnected with yourself? What happened? What triggered this emotion, Capricorn? I have not felt this type of energy from you since March, I believe. March or April. My goodness. <laughs> I think that is the last time that I felt such tense energy like this from you, Capricorn. But look into history. Resolve that old issue. Reconnect with the past person or old occupation. 
Because I feel like some of you even had an old occupation or something that you used to do that you actually kind of sort of miss, okay? Now, let me tell you something. With this Venus going retrograde business, you don't want to rush and be impulsive and make any rash decisions at this time. At least wait until after the new moon in Libra around October 9th or 10th, give or take a day. By then, my love, you will have more clarity. You will be able to think a lot better. You won't be so frustrated at life. You'll be less emotional and more logical, okay? So give it some time before you just make any type of decision, dear love. Pay attention to what is being offered to you. This person may even be someone who wants to offer you a new position, a new job. But make sure that they don't have any, you know, um, what do you call it, hidden agendas. <laughs> okay? So this could also be someone that is work-related, someone that wants to offer you a position, someone that is offering you something that you may not be able to refuse. And you may look at the situation and might be so, so, so super excited and may not necessarily want to turn down its offer, okay? And I'm telling you guys, if you have Taurus in your birth chart, please, please review it. This energy is so similar that it is scary. I feel like I'm repeating myself. The only difference is that their cards were different. I promise you, this energy was very, very similar. Abundance is coming, but, but, but. <laughs> that's what it was it was like but this and but that so capricorn you have a lot going on when it comes to your emotions expect to feel vulnerable the first or second week of october but by that third week honey you are going to be rolling because the blessings are going to be coming in you're gonna be like yes honey you better bless me okay like i just see you guys being so so excited about something. And like I said, for each and every last one of you, this energy is going to be different. It may not all be financial. For some of you, it's going to be money. For some of you, it might be engagement. For some of you, it could be pregnancy. For some of you, it could be the start of a new project or a new business. So for each and every one of you, it's still going to be something exciting, but it's going to be something different for each and every last one of you. Because all of your energy is different, and you all each have something different in your birth chart, okay? Now, like I said, the only thing with that is, you know, you it's like your vulnerability just, I don't know, you just, and I know you're not that good when it comes to this whole emotional business, Capricorn, but you're going to have to tap into that at least once. You're going to have to tap into it. If you're going to get what you came for, Capricorn, you're going to have to learn to be vulnerable. You're going to have to speak up and say, listen, I'm frustrated. I need your help. I don't know what's going on with me, but please, please help me because right now, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm a little confused. I'm a little upset. I just need guidance, okay? And with this card being here, that is exactly what's happening. You are literally receiving all type of epiphanies, all type of ideas and inspirations. You are being heavenly guided, dear love. So whenever you receive this type of card, just remember you're in a time of great insight and psychic power, okay? Now, you may have been denying this for a while, and you may have been getting messages from your spirit or from other spirits, and maybe you have not been paying attention. Pay attention to those dreams. Why are you keep dreaming about this one particular situation? Why do you keep dreaming about this one particular person? Why are you having visions and dreams of people you never even fucking met? <laughs> Why are you having these weird, crazy dreams, dear love? Something is calling you, okay? Spirit is guiding you, dear love. But you, a lot of you have been resisting because you are so overwhelmed or have been so overwhelmed anyway that you have not really been taking the time out to truly, truly focus. And so in the month of October, I'm proud of you, though, because you get it. Like, you are back on track, literally. Okay? So, what's going on? Do you want to go back to the past? Do you want to relive that old occupation, that old dream, that old fantasy? Uh-oh, something was on me. <laughs> so, do you want to go back to that individual? Perhaps you have been sidelining your psychic or mediumship work. 
Whatever the case, wake up to the power of the messages that you receive. Because you know what? Let me tell you something, Capricorn. When you when you deny, when you deny yourself of your power and you deny yourself of your gifts and you don't work on them and you don't practice what you preach, guess what? It all falls apart. This is a season of harvest, dear love. When you deny them, you undermine all you wish to achieve. So it's time for you to have the green light. Light the torch. When you listen to the voice within, respond to it. Be up, become literally like the oracle of your own life. That is what this whole energy is saying, dear love. So, you know, being vulnerable is one thing, dear love, but... I mean, I just see a lot of past life energy here, whether this is a energy from, you know, career choice life or whether this was a love issue from a past love life. Something from your past wants you and it wants you bad. <laughs> so whether this is a career or whether this is you going back to what you love and what, what really cleared your heart, what really made you happy and satisfied. I just see a lot of you making that decision this season. You know, taking, standing up for what you feel, walking out on something you don't want to do anymore, following your passion, following your heart, and that is all good, Capricorn, but like I said, please don't be so impulsive, please wait until the new moon in Libra, give it a few days, by that third week, I'm going to shuffle your overall advice cards, okay, really quickly, so by the third week of October, honey, I'm telling you, that clarity is going to roll in so deeply and so spiritually, you're going to be surprised at how dramatically your life just turns around, okay, so my whole point, dear love, is not to give up because your past life is creeping up and it is showing you that in the past, you chose, you know, you were always in the middle of trying to choose between what people wanted you to do and trying to choose what actually make you happy. And that is what kind of confuses you sometimes, Capricorn, because it's like, yes, I want to climb the ladder of success, but I want to climb the ladder of success doing what I love. I don't want to climb the ladder of success doing what you want me to do. I want to climb the ladder of success because... I want to do something that truly resonates with my soul, okay? So follow your heart, Capricorn, okay? Thank you, universe. Thank you for showing me Capricorn overall advice. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Capricorn. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Capricorn. Be assertive. Look at that. Oh my God, I couldn't find a better card for you. You better be assertive because that is your overall energy, dear love. That is who you are. You are assertive by nature. And so a lot of people get intimidated by that, but oh well. <laughs> this is going to be time for you to be a bit more assertive when it comes to your passion, dear love. You're going to have to step up and say, you know what? Oh well, I'm going to step out on faith. I'm going to trust that by me doing my passion, I'm going to be blessed. I'm going to have everything coming my way. You have to manifest that thought, honey. That is what, what's going on with you. That's the problem. Something triggered these emotions. And it could be the fact that you just don't want to be where you are. You want to go back to what you love. Even in your relationship, you want that old thing back, right? Like, you just want you want to reignite that spark. You just want that love back, right? So this is good, Capricorn. Good for you. This is growth all around the board, and I love it. So, Capricorn, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so sorry that your message took a long time today. Thank you so much for your love and support. If you would like a personal reading, please check out my website, g1insights.org. Thank you.